Is it good? No shadows or anything? Yeah, it's good. I just want to go. Premiumbeat.com. Anyway. Okay, great. We have put together some of the, the best and the brightest on our staff, our board, uh, our community partners, and so we are the model. I mean, we have people from around the country and actually literally around the world come to see what Serving Seniors is doing. And that's come about through hard work, dedication, some trial and error. But we really view that we have a responsibility not only to our existing seniors, but to lead the way for others and for the entire senior network in this country to make sure that every senior in this country has access to the same high quality programs and services that we offer. When I joined what was called then Senior Community Centers, which is now Serving Seniors, it was a very grassroots organization. We had two major donors that were pretty small in retrospect. Uh, we were reliant on government contracts that were always being cut. Uh, we were in rented facilities, both at 9th and Broadway and a church basement, and we were only serving lunch. We didn't have residential housing, we didn't have uh, other services like dental and medical and social workers to help with problems. And there was a board that had lots of dreams and hopes, uh, and those started to come true when Paul joined this organization, and he really has transformed it in such significant ways. One of the reasons it's so important that all of the people who can contribute do contribute because the people that we are helping are our friends, our neighbors, people who for one reason or another have fallen out of the safety net. When we opened the Potaker Center, I was thrilled to see the kind of place that people who'd been on the street or in SROs were now going to be able to use as their primary place of residence. You guys have developed a model for uh, senior housing and senior care in, in uh, combination with some amazing organizations like the West organization. And I believe that with the new focus of the organization and the increasing depth of your management team, that you're going to continue to grow and become one of the preeminent care organizations that's modeled, uh, that's imitated around the country actually. And I hope that we can continue to be a part of that both through uh, direct participation and through financial support, and we intend to. I think the thing that makes the work so important to Gary and Mary is that they are entering a space where many philanthropists do not go. It's so important that philanthropy um, is dedicated to young people and to the arts and to the environment and to animals. But when we think about the fastest growing segment of our society, it is given the least amount of philanthropy. And Gary and Mary West and the leadership at Serving Seniors are leaders in this field. They are showing and proving every day that investing in seniors mean you are investing in your community and you're investing in families. We have a new generation of homeless people. You know, you heard that old saying about we, we live from paycheck to paycheck. There's a lot of new homeless out there. They, they got either dis, displaced because they couldn't afford to pay their mortgages. Uh, they got downsized in their jobs. Um, if, they, if they had an income that uh, was on commission, if they're out of work for three months and there's no income coming in, they're, they're out of a place to stay because they can't afford to pay rent. I think the first thing is just looking at the demographics and the changes coming. Uh, we knew we needed to grow. The strategic plan is that the demographics were crazy. I mean, by 2050, a quarter of San Diegans were going to be seniors, a lot of them in need. And we were in downtown San Diego, kind of in our little box, serving the people here. And there's nothing about that name, serving seniors, that implies we only serve the seniors in need who live in downtown. You know, we needed to grow, we needed to be ready for those changes. It's time for us to stop and celebrate 50 years of incredible service to San Diego's low-income seniors.
I think we need to reflect on where we've been. I think we need to reflect on where we are. But most importantly, we need to work together to have a vision for where we need to go to make sure that the next 50 years are as successful as the last. Serving seniors means happiness. Serving seniors means impact. Serving seniors means security. Serving seniors is consistency. Serving seniors is helpful. Serving seniors is life-saving. Serving seniors is family.